Days before the start of the football season, the Badgers head football coach decided to kick a scholarship player off the team. Coach Paul Chris dismissed Loyal Crawford from the team. A fellow freshman running back was also suspended through the school's disciplinary process. UW-Madison police say Crawford grabbed a knife during a fight in the dorms on August 21st. He was cited for criminal disorderly conduct and disorderly conduct while armed. New at 6, Tony Galley explains why the lawyer for this player says the coach sidestepped a process denying the accused player his rights. I've been representing athletes at the UW on and off over the past 20 few years, 22, 23 years. And attorney Chris Wagner says in recent years, if any behavior off the field at Camp Randall by an athlete led to proposed discipline, that process involves the athlete providing information on what happened. And that opportunity is in writing in section seven of the University Athletic Department disciplinary code. Van Wagner's now representing running back Loyal Crawford, who's been kicked off the team. On Twitter, uh, Loyal Crawford expressed that he never had the chance to provide his side of the story with this alleged fight. He did issue a tweet that said that, and it's true. UW police say Crawford was involved in a fight with a teammate in a UW dorm and armed himself with a knife. Coach Paul Christ used his authority to dismiss Crawford from the team with the established discipline process shut down. Loyal's disappointed that he didn't have the chance to go through the process. But Van Wagner says the lack of coach and player talking about the incident and the player's future was about schedules and miscommunication. And I don't think it was any effort by Coach Christ to act without hearing from Loyal, but how long can you wait while you're getting ready for your home opener? You need to act. In Madison, Tony Galley, 27 News. Loyal Crawford is a freshman who never saw the field for a game or set foot in a classroom. His attorney says without his scholarship, he'll need to drop out of school. On Twitter, Crawford maintains the other player attacked him.